Hey there, Canva lovers. Today we're going to look at how to add page numbers in Canva. Now, when do we need page numbers? So let's say you have a document and you want to number each page like you do in Microsoft Word. That's like one of the easiest use cases of when we need to add page numbers. But if you have a multiple design and you want to keep track of them and you know, you want to, you know, add a number to them because you're creating a series of images, then also you can want to add page numbers. All right, so there are two ways of adding page numbers. I'm going to start with the smarter way, which will take you all of five minutes. The easiest thing to do is go to, I only have one page here. See, I only have one page, but you will see the pages get created automatically when I do this function. So we're going to look for this app called Bulk Create. This app is available only for Canva Pro users. So if you don't have Canva Pro, then get a 30 day trial and you know, try this out, check this app out because it's super helpful. Of course, you have other apps which are uh, uh, other features of Canva Pro, which is very, very useful as well. For me, one of my favorite one is Magic Switch, but there is a different um, a video on that I'll do later. So right now we're looking at the bulk create. So you click on bulk create and enter data manually. Now you can upload your data if you need to add very complicated information because this is not, um, you know, just for an entering a simple number. You can also up upload much more complicated stuff, but that's not required right now. So we just do enter data manually. And when you do that, you will see a default table like that. So, but we don't need the John Smith and Jane Jones. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear the table. We completely clear it and then we keep only one column and we call it something like page numbers. Okay. And here you've got to add your page numbers. How many do you want? One, two, 10, 20, 50. So you can type them one by one. One, two, but this will take a long time. So an easy way to do that is, again, let's be smart about it. Work smarter, not harder. So you just put them in Excel. I have all my numbers in Excel till like 26. So I just grab all of that and I paste it here. So there you have it. You have till page 26. So we will ideally get 26 pages in Canva when we use this. And we just do done. Okay. But of course, nothing is added yet because Canva doesn't know where you want it to add the numbers. Should I have my numbers here, 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 here? How do you want it? What color does it, should it be? What font should it be? So first we need to add that in. So I'm going to add something here and I'm going to call it number. And I'm going to add it here because I want my numbers to be here. You can change the color or whatever. However you format this is how all of your numbers will be added on all of your pages. So get this right, get this exactly right first, otherwise you will have to recreate the whole thing. Now that you have added in your text and you know, okay, this is how I want it to look across. Now, we right click on it. But if you right click on it right here, you will not see any option for adding the numbers. So we go back to apps and we click on bulk app. And now we are back to this view because we were in the second step. We haven't finished the step. So now when I right click, then I see this option of connect data. So I have to connect this text here to the numbers I added before. <coughs> so to this column that we added with the page numbers. So I click on that and then you do continue. And it says, okay, now it's going to add all these numbers to my design. So I just do, okay, generate 26 designs. So what it did is it kept my first design over here, how it was, and it opened, created a new design with all these page numbers. So if you look at it here, you see now you have 26 pages and 26 just being a random number, it could be 50. 
and your pages got added with the page number in it. So you don't have to do anything. So that is how you create page numbers in Canva automatically with the Bulk Create app. Again, remember that the Bulk Create app is available only for Canva Pro users. So if you have not tried out Canva Pro, there's a link in the description. Just try it out for 30 days and see if you like this app. So the other way to add page numbers is, well, manual. I do not like manual stuff. <sighs> it takes too long. Oh, here you go. Now you add like maybe number one and then you duplicate and you make it two. Then you duplicate and you make it three. So you go manually one by one. So if you don't have Canva Pro and you have the Canva free version, this is the way you will have to do it. But it will take you a long time. So I would definitely recommend giving Canva Pro a shot. It's not even that expensive and it saves so much time when you use Canva regularly. So yeah, that is how you add page numbers in Canva, both with the automatic version, with the bulk create app and also manually. Thanks for watching.